similarity in terms of intelligence perspective, but this doesn't actually challenge human chimpanzeistry. Phil, you didn't make your point. You made a circular argument the whole time. You, you just made the same circular argument again and again. We can discuss this again too. The fact of the matter is this, all throughout this conversation, you first did not want to acknowledge homology was an assumption, then you acknowledged no, it was an assumption, was then you believed it could be ver then you believed it could be verified. Said, so in I summary, said, what I began off with, you still haven't challenged, which is similarities is due to common descent, similarities exist, therefore similarities is due to common descent. No, this at best no, at best is circular no, reasoning. No, 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 that's and I, I don't, I don't see why you're walking away because you wanted to have this debate. We have had the debate. No, but Phil, have we not Phil, been Phil, here for two and a half hours? Phil, before? Phil, the Can debate. I be here till next no, Tuesday. No, sis, no, relax, Phil. When we wanted to have you this discussion, you wanted to have a formal discussion. Yes. Yes. You said you had more credentials than Aaron Ra, which I don't know. I don't know how you managed to make that conclusion. I never said but, that. I said, no, you lied. You lied. You said I only debate people that have professional qualifications in the field. Yep. Yeah, and I pointed out Aaron Dra doesn't have those qualifications. He does. No, he doesn't. He studied paleontology. He has not got any postgraduate degrees in the subject. Wait, wait, I, hang, I, on, I, hang, I, on, I, hang on, hang on, hang on. Because I asked him. Me and Sa Aaron okay, Ra so, had a conversation so, and I Have asked you studied paleontology? Has, have I? No. Why have you studied in terms of evolutionary biology? I'm not qualified in evolutionary biology. So, th so, so where Aaron Ra is because he studied no, paleontology. He is, well, I He's more qualified him, than you. I asked, well, okay. I asked him if he had uh, professional qualifications in evolutionary biology and he told me no. It says on his Wikipedia page he studied paleontology. I asked him and he said no. And he's been debating this topic for about 30 years now. Right, so? No, but your your you point. Know, if it was me versus you, this would be really interesting. But it isn't. It's, it's you. you it's, it's you misrepresenting the scientific community. It's you versus the whole scientific. Community. No, it's not. It is. Because which scientist? Can you bring me one scientist or scientific paper or a philosopher of science or philosopher of biology who says homology is not an assumption you begin off with? Okay. But Nobody. You're the, points of the question is not what are the starting assumptions. The question is what does that. Ah, you agree the starting say? assumptions are there. <laughs> I've already told you, right? The point that we have, the evidence confirms the human chip. If the if the evidence is based on an assumption and the but null the hypothesis is no. something ridiculous, okay, okay, you, you and genetics that. adds nothing new to the you're, conversation. Okay, you're misquoting that. The genetics. What he was saying was that the genetics adds nothing new to the issue of how similar humans and chimps are. That's but not that's what he said. That's not the question. That's not what he the said. The question is. You're misquoting then, him. Then, then the question is. The whole are time you're misquoting him. Got a common ancestor. That's, totally different question. That's you're misquoting so him. Totally. I'm going to finish it here. Okay. You've got to put a line under it. Okay. Thank you very much for the debate. Okay. Okay. One of the issues is this. When you have atheists like Phil, like other atheists, they come along and they say, look, this thing is evidence. We have evidence from genetics. We have evidence from anatomy. We have evidence from the fossil record. We have evidence from bioinformatics. Or we have evidence from biochemistry or whatever. But each of those is based on an assumption fundamentally. And that assumption is the assumption of homology. Now, if you want to say it's simply an assumption, that's fine. But if you say that this assumption is actually true, what you're basically doing is you're making a circular argument. You're saying similarities are due to common descent, similarities exist, therefore similarities are due to common descent. And that is pure circular reasoning. Now, if you want to say, look, there is something that can actually challenge it. And you want to say, look, we have this probability that's actually here. What is the null hypothesis? What is the thing that you're comparing it with? It's going to be randomness. But where did you come up with the idea that that is going to be actually random? So 
what he actually did there is he misrepresented what the scientific what the scientific conclusion was by not explaining fully what the null hypothesis was and how they actually came up with that conclusion and this is one of the fundamental problems where, when it comes to actually atheists what they actually do is this they give you a a picture of the scientific community which is not true there is not a single philosopher of science there is not a single philosopher of biology, there is not a single evolutionary biologist that would deny methodological naturalism and that would deny homology as an assumption. And even if, even if homology was not just simply an assumption, even if it could be validated in some way, homology is a necessary condition for human chimp ancestry, not a sufficient condition. You actually have to have a mechanism because Darwin's theory is not a theory about similarities. It's, a, it's, it's the theory of natural selection, how you can get from a monad to a man, how you can go from A to actually Z. You can't just simply make claims. And one of the things which atheists love to do is say, you've misquoted this person. When they themselves, like in this conversation, didn't even know what the person actually said. And the problem why this exists is because evolutionary biology has been hijacked by people who want to use it as a platform for trying to show why God doesn't exist, or atheism is true, or this actually undermines the existence of God. When anybody who looks at it from an objective point of view will understand science is uh, based on the problem of uh, science is based on induction and you have the problem of induction. It's a beautiful method which gives us the technology that we have, but it doesn't mean that conclusions that you make based upon it, especially conclusions which are the, about the remote past, you can say these things are true in a certain way. The assumptions are still there and those assumptions cannot be decisively proven through any form of data. Some of these things are philosophical paradoxes like homology and homoplasy and these cannot actually be um, uh, proven by data. Now one of the things which is very, very important and which is why I come to the park is to show that atheists like Phil, they don't actually represent the scientific community and they always give you partial evidence. And we saw clear, clear evidence of that when he gave that statistic, but he didn't explain what the null hypothesis was or what the null hypothesis was actually based upon and tried to actually justify that. And he walked away. Now, somebody watching this may say, well, he has the right to walk away. Actually, anybody has the right to walk away from a debate. But he asked for this debate and he actually wanted to discuss a very deep topic with all these different um, things, whether it's genetics, anatomy or the fossil record or whatever. But he called each one an independent line of evidence. But when one was dealt with, he ran off to another as an independent line of evidence. But that's like whack-a-mole. That's like, look, it's not here, it's here, it's not here, it's here. The fact of the matter is it's nowhere. It's actually based on the assumption of homology and there is no one piece of evidence that you can actually say is decisive evidence of human chimp ancestry. And another thing which in the debate which came up, which I think is very, very important, which we should actually understand is confirmation bias. Darwin actually had a confirmation bias and his confirmation bias was that he believed the African people were closest to the other primates, which is why he believed certain traits about African people which weren't actually true. And Ernst Haeckel, who was a German evolutionary biologist and he was one of the disciples of Darwin, and he was also somebody who wrote a book about human chimp ancestry, he had um, a chart that he actually made with different types of human beings, with the African black human being being the lowest and being closest to the actual other primates. Now, obviously the highest was the same race that Phil actually is, the Caucasian race. Now when Charles Darwin read that book, he actually said, if I knew that this um, uh, book was going to be published, I would not have published my book, The Descent of Man. So he clearly held those beliefs. Now the atheist who was here, he's going to say, well, everybody was racist back then. You know, this is complete nonsense and I explained that Islamically, we, do, we have an ancient tradition which is that all human beings 
are equal and the only thing that differentiates one human being from another human being is their God consciousness, not their race. So this whole idea that, oh, it's okay if, if he had this confirmation bias because, uh, you know, everybody at the time was racist. That wasn't the actual point. The point is he let his confirmation bias dictate his actual scientific study. And this is the same case in Africa and the same case in actually South America when he actually visited it. Islam is something which cannot be disproven in terms of the existence of God or in terms of human chimp ancestry because of science and people like Phil actually misrepresent the scientific evidence and misquote or misquote scientists although they themselves misquote studies which was why it was exposed today and misquote and misunderstand what the assumptions actually are and those assumptions are never conclusions those assumptions remain assumptions he began off with that it's not an assumption he admitted it's an assumption and then he tried to say the assumption is validated to be an actual conclusion everything good i have said is from god every mistake is from uh, myself i thank you very much for listening assalamu alaikum